Hi everybody, today we're gonna read Little Bird Takes a Bath by Mar Marissa Bina Russo. Little Bird Takes a Bath. So what do you guys see on the cover of this book? I see a bird. I see that there's water, that it, the bird is standing on a puddle. I see there's raindrops all around the, the bird. So our title says, Little Bird Takes a Bath. So maybe this book is going to be about the bird and how it takes a bath or where it goes to take a bath. Have you ever seen birds take a bath? When you go outside, what do you see birds do? So let's find out and see what this book is going to be, be about. Let's read. Little Bird Takes a Bath. It was a rainy night in the city. Little Bird sat looking at the street below. He watched the umbrellas bobbing up and down. He listened to the taxis honk, honk, honking. He felt the thunder in his teeny wings. I don't like the rain, said Little Bird. I don't like the rain at all. So Little Bird doesn't like the rain at all. He doesn't like the rain. Look how sad Little Bird is. Look, he's so, so sad. He doesn't like the rain. Look, it's raining so much. Everyone's holding umbrellas and trying to stay dry. They're wearing raincoats, rain boots, and it's raining. Little Bird doesn't like the rain. Do you guys like the rain? Do you guys like when it rains or do you guys like when it's sunny outside? I like sunny days. I like when it's sunny. But do you guys like sunny days or do you like when it rains? What do you guys do when it rains outside? What kinds of things do you do? I wonder why the bird doesn't like the rain. Why do you guys think the bird doesn't like the rain? Let's see. Let's read and find out. Then he nestled down and closed his eyes and dreamed about tomorrow. So look, now he, he decided to go to his nest. So remember, birds live in a nest, a bird nest. So look, the bird is in his nest and he's sleeping. He decided to go to sleep. So he's closing his eyes and going to sleep. He's going, he's closing his eyes and going to sleep and it's raining, it's raining. But now the bird is sleeping, he's falling asleep. So maybe when he wakes up, the rain is going to go away. What do you guys think? Maybe when he wakes up in the morning, there's going to be no more rain. Maybe there's going to be no more rain. Let's see. Let's read and find out. Let's see. In the morning, Little Bird woke up early. He looked out over the street below. No more umbrellas, no more honking, no more thunder. Rain, rain, gone away, sang Little Bird, who always started his day with a song. What a perfect day for a bath. So now the next day, is it raining now? No, now it's a sunny day. The sun is shining. It is no longer raining. So the rain went away. So no more rain. No more rain. So look, so there's no more rain. So no one has umbrellas anymore. So no more so no more honking, no more thunder. So the rain has gone away. So the bird is saying perfect day for a bath. Look, the bird is singing now. Before he was so sad. Now he's so happy, he's singing because he's so happy that the rain has gone away. So now he's singing, he's happy. So now he said time for a bath. I wonder where he's gonna go take a bath. Maybe he's gonna find a puddle. Do you guys see any puddles on the street? Do you guys see water on the street? I don't see any water. Where do you guys think the bird is going to take a bath? Where do you think the bird is going to go take his bath? I wonder where he's going to go. Let's see. Little 
and off he flew over rooftops and around lampposts under awnings little bird saw puddles everywhere some looked too big some looked too big some looked too small some were already crowded with bathers so look so the bird so the bird flew over rooftops is flying over the rooftops he flew around lampposts and under awnings so the bird saw puddles everywhere. Look, do you guys see puddles? Where do you guys see puddles? I see some puddles. Can you can you point to the puddles? Where do you guys see puddles? I see a puddle over here. I see another puddle right over here. I see another puddle over here. I see another puddle over here. And then I see another puddle right over here. So those are all puddles. So look, some puddles are too big. So some puddles are too big for the bird. So this is a big puddle. Some puddles are really small. So this is a small puddle. And some were too crowded. So look, this is a big puddle. But look, it has too many birds in it. Or look, this is a small puddle. But look, the dog is licking the water from it. So the bird is trying to find the perfect puddle to go to. I wonder, is he gonna find the perfect puddle? Is he gonna take a bath? Where is the bird going to go? What do you guys think? Where's the bird gonna go? Let's see where he goes next. At last, little bird spotted the perfect puddle. He swooped out of the sky and landed with a happy splash. My puddle, my puddle, my pur puddle, trip little bird. But then something was bounce, bounce, bouncing. Straight out little bird. Oh no. So look, he found the perfect puddle. He found the perfect puddle. So look, the bird is in the perfect puddle. It's the right size, it's not crowded. He has enough space, but he hears something bounce, bounce, bouncing. What do you think he hears? What do you think the bird hears bounce, bounce, bouncing? What do you think he hears? Do you think it's a car? Do you think it's a toy? Do you think it's a ball? Let's see what could be bouncing. Let's see. He skittered, he, he skittered out of the way. So look, what went to his puddle? A ball, a ball went in the puddle. So the ball went in the puddle. Look, the bird ran to get out of the way. So now what do you think the bird's gonna do? So there's a ball in his puddle. So that doesn't seem very safe. Look, the ball is bigger than the bird. So what do you think the bird is gonna do next? Do you think he's gonna go find another puddle? Or do you think he's gonna go back to this puddle with the ball? Let's see, what does the what is the bird gonna do next? Let's see. When it was quiet again, little bird hopped back into his puddle. This was close, he chirped. That was all so close. Rub a dub dub, sang little bird. But then something was flip, flop, flapping straight at little bird. Oh no. So look now, the ball went away and the bird went back to his puddle. He's inside his puddle now. And he's taking a bath, he's saying, Rub a dub dub. But then suddenly he hears something. He hears flip, flip, flapping. <gasps> uh oh, I wonder what's coming now. What's coming at the bird now? What is flip, flip, flapping? Is it another bird flapping its wings? Maybe another bird is flapping its wings. What kind of bird could it possibly be? 
Or what else could be flapping? Maybe shoes? Maybe another animal? What could possibly be flapping? What do you guys think? Let's see. He flew out of the way faster than before. So straight, so in the puddle was a girl wearing her flip-flops. Her, her, so the girl's flip-flops were going flap, flap, flapping. So it's the girl's flip-flops. So first the ball, now the flip-flops. So what is the bird going to do next? Is the bird going to go back to this puddle again? Or maybe I see some smaller puddles. Maybe he might go to a smaller puddle. Or do you think he's going to go back to this one? Or maybe he might go somewhere else. I wonder what the bird is going to do. Let's see. When it was quiet again, little bird hopped back into his puddle. That was close, he cheeped. That was even closer. Row, row, row. You both sing, little bird. But then something was arf, arf, arfing. Straight at little bird. Oh, no. So look, not again. So look, now the bird went back into the puddle. So first it was the ball, then it was the girl, and now... He's in his puddle singing, row, row, row your boat. And then he hears something, arf, arf, arfing. What could possibly be arf, arf, arfing? What can possibly be making that sound? What could, be po what could possibly be going to the bird, going straight to the puddle? What do you think? Maybe a dog? Maybe it's a dog. Do you guys think it's a dog? Let's see. Let's see if it's a dog. But a dog is a lot bigger than a bird. So the bird has to get out, out of the way as quickly as possible. Let's see. He flittered out of the way as fast as he could. So look, he went, he went out of the way as fast as he could. It was the dog. It was a dog. And look how big the dog is to the bird. The bird is tiny. And look, the dog is so big. He's making a big splash. But look, what's happening to the puddle? What do you notice is happening to the puddle? The puddle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So before it was a big puddle, but now it's so small and tiny. But now it's so small and so tiny. It's such a small, such a small puddle. What do you think the bird is gonna do? Do you think the bird is gonna go in this puddle? Do you think the dog is gonna go somewhere else? I wonder where the bird is gonna go next. Where do you think the bird is gonna go next? Let's see. When it was quiet again, Little Bird hopped back into his puddle. Closest yet, he cheeped. The very closest yet. But Little Bird wasn't happy with his puddle anymore. Almost all the water had been splashed away. Little Bird thrilled a sad song. No more bath today. No more bath today. Now he'd have to wait for another rainy night. And remember, Little Bird doesn't like the rain. He didn't like the rain at all. So look, look what's happening to his puddle. His puddle is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Before his puddle was so big. Now his puddle is so small and tiny. <gasps> So, bird, the little bird is not happy now. He's sad because he has such a small puddle now. 
So what do you think Bird is gonna do? What do you think Little Bird is gonna do? Where do you think Little Bird is gonna go? Do you think he's gonna stay here? But he's not happy with the size of his puddle. It's too small for him. Do you think he's gonna go somewhere else? Where can he possibly go? The puddles are, the puddles are all small now. And Little Bird doesn't like the rain. So what is Little Bird gonna do next? Where's he gonna go? Let's see. Little Bird flapped his tiny wings and started to head home. Under awnings, over lampposts, over rooftops. But then, what was that shining, sparkling, and shimmering down below? It looked like a fountain. A splashy, swirly fountain. Just the right size for Little Bird. So look now. It's time for Little Bird to go home. So he's flying over rooftops, over uh, awnings, around lampposts. So now it's time to go home. So now he's going home. But then as he's going home, he sees something that's shining, sparkling, shimmering down below. What do you think it could be? What do you think Little Bird sees? What do you think Little Bird sees? Something that's shining, sparkling, shimmering down below. What could it possibly be? Can it be this building? No. Can it be the cars? No. I think I see something right over here. I see water. I see and lots of water. So it looked like a fountain. A splashy, swirly fountain, just the right size for Little Bird. So Little Bird found a fountain with water, and it's just the right size for Little Bird. It's just the right size. So do you guys think Little Bird is going to go to the fountain? Do you think he's going to take a bath at the fountain? Let's see. Little Bird swooped out of the sky and landed with a happy splash. He shook and wiggled and fluttered his wings until he saw, until he was as clean as he could be. At least Little Bird was, oh, was ready to fly home. So look, Little Bird went into the water. He went into the water of the fountain so look he took a bath and he's splashing all the water he's having so much fun being in the water so after all even though his puddle shrunk little bird found somewhere to take a bath he found the sprinkler he found the fountain with all the water and it was just the right size for him and there weren't any other birds there so he had the whole fountain to himself so look, now Little Bird is happy because he found water, he's able to take a bath, and he, and he didn't have to rain again because Little Bird doesn't like the rain. So look, he's in the fountain, he's taking his bath, and Little Bird is so, so happy now. Let's see. He saw the long shadow spreading across the sidewalks. He heard the loud buses rum rum rumbling down the streets. He smelled the street aromas rising from the kitchen windows. He saw the the sky was pink. There could be no rain tonight. So look, now he's flying home. So Little Bird is right over here and he's flying home. So he's looking at the city. He's flying over the city. So now he sees long shadows spreading across the sidewalks. He sees, look, the shadow, people's shadows. Look, people's shadows on the sidewalks. He hears loud buses rum, rum, rumbling down the street. So he hears the loud buses. He hears the loud bus rumbling down the street. 
He smelled the sweet aromas rising from the kitchen windows. So look, the, the windows. So he's smelling the, the, all the smells that are coming out of the kitchen windows. And the sky was pink. There will be no rain tonight. So the sky is pink and blue. So that means there will be no rain tonight. So I'm sure now Little Bird is happy because he found the fountain. He doesn't need it to rain. And Little Bird does not like the rain anyway. So let's see what Little Bird does now. Let's see. The moon's pale face appeared between two buildings. As Little Bird landed on his ledge. Good night, sweet sky. rock a -bye, he said. Because Little Bird always ended his day with a song. So look, now it's, before it was daytime, now it's nighttime. And what do you guys see in the sky? I see the moon. I see the moon up in the sky. So that means it's nighttime now. So, so the, the moon's pale face appeared between the buildings. So look, the moon is appearing right there. So look, little bird is back in his nest. So the little bird is back in his nest. And he's saying good night, sweet rock. He's saying good night, sweet sky. And he's saying rock a bye, baby. He's singing songs. He's singing songs. He's saying good night, sweet sky, and rock a bye. And little bird always ends his day, so he likes to sing because little bird ends his day with a song each day. What do you, when you guys go to sleep, do your parents sing to you? What songs do they sing to you? Or do they read books to you? What books do they read to you? Let's see what little bird does next. So now little bird is happy because he took a bath in the fountain. He's back in his nest. So little bird is happy. So let's see what happens next. Then he nestled down and closed his eyes and dreamed about tomorrow. So look, so now little bird is back in his nest. So he's closing his eyes, getting comfortable and going to sleep. Cause little bird had a very exciting day and he's tired because he had to find a puddle and then the ball went in the puddle. What else went in the puddle? The girl's shoes. What else? The dog. And the dog made a big splash. So then his puddle shrunk. Then he had to find another puddle and he found the fountain. Which he took a bath. So now he's back home. He's in his nest. And he's going to sleep. The end.